My name is Ash from Body and Avionics. We're out of, we make, we're famous for our CO detectors. That's how we started out about 20 years ago, and we're standard safety equipment on Cessna, Cirrus, and Diamonds, and Pipers. Anyway, we're here to show you our new product, which is our Smart MFD. And it's a, uh, it's, a, it's a Smart MFD link. So what we do is we take all the data that's coming out of the Garmin G3. Like right now, I'm just going to put 3056, enter. As you can see, you got 3056 right there. So you can see I'm going to increase the speed to 100, down to 100, 111. And you can see that the speed also went down to 111. So the nice thing about our features is that you can go back between different apps. So you can say, oh, I really want to use ForeFlight. Mm. Oh, no, 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 I really want to use, uh, say, the Garmin Pilot. So the great thing about our system is that you can go back and forth as you like. And this thing here, so in an airplane, you would put a Garmin G3 and these two can be all iPads. Between this and this and this, everything can be remote mounted. So you can have a remote transponder, you can have remote intercoms, remote radios. So this is actually your whole entire uh, panel on a certified aircraft or experimental. Okay, so so that was that was gonna be my next question. Uh, for someone who's looking at this, this is not just for experimental. No, you can have this also for on a certified. So the certified. how does that even how does that work? Okay, so this box here is our box. This is FA certified, and then we have our iPad mounts that uh, this box attaches right to that. If you can take a look at that, you can see that that's attached to the back of the mount there. So that whole thing just attaches to the mount, and we take the data from the radios the GPS, uh, and the pitch, roll, and yaw, and other engine instruments. And we combine them, and this is uh, Apple certified. Uh, we what they call Apple MFI certified. And so we send the data to, the, uh, to our app. And then this app right here, you can, you can see that she will talk to you also. And then also all that data is live transmitting on the cloud. So as long as you have internet, either before or during the flight, you'll be able to see all that data uh, uh, in the flight. Okay, so then my next question, and we're gonna check out that other yeah. one also. Yeah. To get all the information you you get now, you don't need internet. You're just, this is your flight display, you yeah. can transfer it over yeah. to, to either to one, that's iPad. what you're saying. So, so you don't need anything, but what I'm saying is, all your data is being stored, saved, and transmit it automatically to the cloud. Gotcha. So the minute your, uh, 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 what do you call it, uh, your iPad sees the cloud, it will transmit it to the cloud. Now the best feature we have in this thing here, there's two features. One is you're able to, as a pilot, you can go in and set up your takeoff, your landings, your altitude, and we have all the different other uh, call outs that you can set up so that she will tell you what position you're in to remind you either to bring your gear, turn your oil temperature, I mean, the switch fuel tanks. So this is really, to really help you while you're flying. Okay. The other great feature we have, so it'll take just a second here for it to link up to this one here. So as you can see that this is linked now, 7,111, 7,111. As you can read that I have an oxygen of 96 and a pulse of 99. And 102 is my pulse right now. I love breathing a little heavy. And 96 is my oxygen. Oh, wow. So you can not only do we talk, we also send our heart rate and oxygen to the Garmin G3 or our iPads. And, uh, and this is only iOS focus. iOS focus. This is only for uh, iOS. Uh, and, and then also all your engine data, like if you see this... Uh, 28.4, you can see 28.4. Now, all of this is, from what I understand, is predicated on having at least one system, like say a G5 or a G3X Touch. G3X or G5. Okay. So the other option is we do also make an experimental 
engine box. Okay. That you can also get all that data if you don't, if you just want a G5 and it's and a engine data box with our system. Okay. Now, are you the one cutting the panel too, or, or? no? We're just a manufacturer of body and avionics. We make parts for the aeroplanes. Okay, so you're not software. you're not cutting the panel or customizing it. No, 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 because every customer is different. Okay. Now, can you show me that yeah. other one that, that yeah. runs through a G5? Because I actually think this is a yeah. unique case. Yeah. So in this case here, if a customer really wants to save money and have a, a, a life-flying aeroplane, all he needs is a G5. A, this one we have a JPI, or you can use ours. We have a Garmin 375 here. So depending on whether he wants a VFR, IFR. So here, we're doing the exact same thing. So whatever you do on your G5, See, 3083, 3083, 1460. Uh, well, okay, we're getting, because we're getting some data from the GPS. But when you're flying, they're all the same. Okay. Uh, then also you can get a big engine data. You can have an, as many iPads or iPhones as you want in the cockpit. Okay. So my biggest question, I think the biggest concern for as neat as this looks is heat. Yes. So every one of our iPads, if you can put your hand here, is blowing air to keep it cool. So all our iPads come with a, a fan. And then the other, the, uh, the other thing that you can do is also, you can also change your, tune your radios like this is, so I'm gonna put 125. You can see that went to 125 right there and I'm gonna swap it. And you can see the 125 went to that side and the 122.8 went to this side. Okay, awesome. No, so, my... so this is really, we get the live data, as what we call certified data, and then our box takes it, manipulates it, and then makes it into the app. We store all that data as it's receiving it. And then once it sees the internet, it dumps it to the cloud. Gotcha. So all of this is beautiful. Now, how much is the cost okay. or cost savings? Okay. To, so how, a panel like this, you've got two iPads, yep. a G5, 275 here, yep. and an uh, engine monitor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so, so depending on how the customer wants it and how much he really wants to spend. But let's say basically you need a 275s, uh, I mean G5s, as your primary, you can do save a lot of money. But if he wants a 275, so this whole package here, you're looking at about twenty thousand dollars. Our box itself is thirteen hundred dollars, thirteen fifty, and then depending on which iPad you buy, is anywhere from uh, ninety nine dollars all the way up to two hundred and fifty dollars. So depending on which iPad mounts you buy, and then also if you want our engine box, is a six hundred dollars for the engine box. So you can save a lot of money. And then the good thing is if something goes wrong, you always have your primary uh, yeah, G5. Home, G5. Okay. And so home. this is $20,000. This is a full instrument panel here. That is correct. Um, and that's 20 grand as compared to, okay. Now, how can we find out more about? Well, the vet is guardianavionics.com. That's where we have a lot of our products, uh, all our items that we sell.